Ladies and gentlemen, we got Ricky Gervais going scorched earth on Hollywood on the Golden Globes. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the 77th annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Um, You'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I I'm think joking. This is one of the most I famous never did. Um, <laughs> NBC lines. clearly don't care either. Fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And. <laughs> They've no idea what Twitter Woo! is. So this is going to be squirming I've got and cringing. This by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? By the way, I have this thing about secondhand embarrassment. Whenever somebody is feeling embarrassment, even if they deserve the embarrassment, it hits me too. So you guys are probably going to watch me cringe and squirm through the laughter also. But don't don't worry. That ain't me. <laughs> Just warning y'all. Let's go out with a bang. I got, who else has Let's second hand embarrassment? Put in the comment section. Expense, I hate shall it. We? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no sequel. So, yeah. Woo, she's a, um, oh, the fake you're all smiles. Lovely, all doled up, you came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. I don't get all these jokes. Shush. I don't know who Felicity Huffman is. It's, so. her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, okay? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, lots of big celebrities <laughs> here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone. Uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Oh, I know, they're like, leave me alone. Robert's like, Baby Yoda. Oh, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, I love you. <laughs> um, but tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. Oh my God. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. He's all right, okay, so here's going to be the issue. I'm not super into, I'm like not in the know of the Hollywood, so I don't be knowing the names of all these people. Who the hell is Ronan Farrow? If you guys can help by explaining, maybe throughout the joke I'll understand, but in the comment section, help me out. I don't know, Felicity Huffman, is, was she the one from Full House that did the cheat, like cheated for her, paid for her daughter to get into college? Is, is that who it is? In common, they're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. I He's know. coming for yeah. you. He's coming for you. Look, I know it's talking about you perverts. It was a big year. Oh, it was a big year for paedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Look at that. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, <laughs> fifth time. So, we were going to do an in memoriam <laughs> this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. So, <laughs> Maybe next year. Let's, let's see what happens. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this. Okay? <laughs> oh, no! Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Shut up. I don't know. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> you had to make your own way here in your own plane, didn't you? Right. 
But see, I couldn't be here. I would be the nigga in the back. You would hear me audibly. <laughs> I couldn't be here. I couldn't be here. You would clearly hear me. Everybody know that's screwed up. I, I could tell that. <laughs> I'd be in the back. Ah, that nigga cooking y'all. <laughs> nah, this feel like a battle rap, don't it? Yo, smack. Get this nigga a contract, man. Let's get him one event contract, man. Makes all he makes this rhyme. This nigga got the unloaded Lux, man. Huh? <laughs> you like to make your own way here. Look how mad playing, some of these people right. are. But seriously, most films are awful. Lazy. Remakes. Sequels. I've heard Facts. a rumor that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that'd just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. <laughs> All the best actors have jumped <laughs> on Netflix and HBO, I got that one. you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They oh wear masks God. and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Facts! Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. No point. He's not we lying, bro. Um, I'm sorry for pausing so much, but bro, you can tell the jokes that are hitting too close to home by absolutely how quiet the crowd is getting. So the better the joke, the quieter the crowd is. <laughs> All them niggas be on steroids, bro. I am somebody who, I lift. If y'all know, if y'all watch me on social media, I am in the gym all the time. I am, and I'm gonna tell you something right now. You don't get those physiques naturally, especially that fast, bro. Come on, bro. There's some tall tale tales where some of y'all be like, all right, Camille, I got you. Yep. Right, brown rice and uh, fish, right? Into the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? Woo! The no cringe point. We know and the humor that. is battling uh, each other. Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides. <laughs> <really>. <laughs> it's tiny. It's true. It's true. <laughs> right. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, look. It was. My fact, my, yeah, it was great. Uh, oh, you know he's coming with... He set you up. Wrong, but amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. Oh! This nigga Leonardo... Ah! Leonardo can take a joke about himself. I can tell. Oh! Nah, Ricky. Ricky, why you... What, who? God damn. Huh? This ain't 8 Mile, bro. It's not that serious, man. Why is you doing this? Attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Woo! That's that second hand. That's that second hand. Yup. Even ah! Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate. You know. <laughs> you're nearly 50, son. Um... Woo! The world Woo! got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. He was also in the movie Cats. But... <laughs> See, Ray Romano's a comedian. He know he's probably enjoying all of this, bro. No one saw that. Um, and the reviews, oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs, right? <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg, and licking her own minge. <laughs> I love the, the actors who are laughing through this is actually making me like them more. I've never actually sat back and watched this. I've, obviously, we all heard that he went scorched earth on these people. I've never actually sat and watched this because this is actual torture for me because it's hilarious. But boy, the secondhand embarrassment is palpable. Woo! 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 Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> furble, furble. She's old school. Um, 
It's the last time, who cares? <laughs> oh. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. Uh, a superb I don't know who drama that about is. the importance of dignity and doing the right thing. Mr. Made Smithers. by a company that runs sweatshops in China. Woo! So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award... Oh, y'all right, quiet now! Don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right... Come up, I don't know who that is. But... Award, thank your agent and your god, and fuck off. Okay? <laughs> so. Oh, he's chefing y'all. three hours long. Look at Lil Hanks. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't never seen a whole room get cooked up like this. I ain't never seen a whole room get cooked up like this, bro. Oh my god, man. Huh? Woo wee! This had to be how Papa Doc felt when the whole room started saying, Every world, 313. This had to be how Papa Doc felt. It's already three hours long. Look at Tom Hanks! Right, let's do the first award. The first award. <laughs> the first award is for best actor in a television series, <clears throat> musical, <clears throat> or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? <laughs> Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was over. There's another round! In a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> In the meantime, here are <laughs> Sophia Vergara and Matt Bomer. Oh, he's chaffing. Welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. Oh. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. He hates the Hollywood Foreign Press. Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats? It's, it's that easy. Here are two of the nominated stars, Anna de Armas and Daniel Craig. I've got nothing negative to say about these next two presenters because the big one could snap me in half. So please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. What the hell? Do I have to watch the rest of these? These are just these little quick little one-liners. I kind of just want to see the end. Kill me. We're nearly done. <laughs> Jesus. Three, it's already three. Right, um... Last one, last one. Come on, guys. Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> you did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please welcome Sandra Bullock. That's it. Oh. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take your drugs. Ricky Gervais just, yeah, he definitely had to have the blicky on him. Definitely had to have the blicky on him. Yeah. He must have went straight from there, straight to the car, nigga. Hand on swaying me whole time. I don't know which one of you weirdos going to try to grab me up right now. <laughs> Ricky Gervais. Wait, should I do more? <laughs>